What's going on, guys? It's Gathalion, and welcome back to Out of Bounds. In this series, we like to take a look at Borderlands 1 and 2, and hopefully various other games in the future from angles that you might not normally see playing on console or even just playing normally on PC. What I like to do is make myself be able to fly and turn on clipping so I can pass through walls, and we like to take a look at just silly things and often just the building blocks of the game itself to see exactly how the game is put together. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at an area inside the Clap Trap DLC. Before we head out this way, I was on stream last night and somehow people didn't know that there is this chest hidden right here. All you have to do is come around the corner from Tannis and you'll be there. You see this, it's right there. You just walk along that edge. All right, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to go out to the, uh, what is it, the clap trap uh, factory, where all the clap traps are being made within the clap trap DLC. So let's go ahead and head out in that direction. Now I've already done a pass through on this and I found something pretty interesting. Before, before we head over there, I thought I would fly around and let you guys get a nice look at how things are put together inside this area. Of course, that down there is the spawn box. There's a spawn box at the bottom of every level in Borderlands. That's where you go when you die. That's, that's the answer, guys. Uh, this is this is the Claptrap Factory. I, I feel like it's, I always felt like this area was kind of shabbily put together, uh, frankly. I mean, pretty pretty bland textures. Um, you, ha you, of course, have the clap traps that spawn, but I mean, it's supposed to be urban, but it's sort of just like a flat texture with buildings plopped on top of it, and I always felt like this area was just kind of lazy. Just kind of lazy, especially compared to, say, um, New Haven, or no, not New Haven, Old Haven. And even even Dead Haven, even though Dead Haven is a direct copy and reskin of of Old Haven, and you know I think I'll I think I'll take a look at that in my next episode, Out of Bounds. Why don't you guys leave me a little comment in the section below saying do you want me to take a look and compare New Haven or Old Haven to Dead Haven? I think we'll do that. Uh, up here is of course where default spawns. After you kill him once, he does not spawn again which is kind of a, uh, I think that's kind of disappointing. I wish that he did uh, respawn again, but default does not. I don't I don't think he does. I'm 97.6% I'm sure he doesn't respawn. I, I take major issue in DLCs when you have mini bosses or sub bosses or even, even bosses or areas with enemies that just don't respawn after you take them out. You know, let's, yeah, I, he usually, he will usually spawn after you kill the enemies. So, you know, while we're here, we might as well, let's fucking, let's, let's go see. Uh, we'll, we'll kill all the bandits. Uh, Default is of course the bandit leader inside the Claptrap DLC. He likes to, he likes to wear a, um, uh-oh, 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 I have a leg on me. Is it gone? No. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> that was cool. Um, so yeah, default will usually come down this elevator, but he doesn't after you kill him once. He he wears um, some tinfoil on his head to protect him from being uh, controlled by the claptraps, and he might just be the smartest bandit there is. Uh, down here is where the omega spawn of these claptraps is, but I don't think I don't think there's anything in the pipe now. We're we're looking at pretty much nothing in the pipe. There ain't nothing in the pipe, Dale. Uh, let's take a look inside the actual Claptrap factory. Um, there are a few areas in here. Oh, what was that? That's just a plain texture. We're inside the wall now, where secrets are. There's no secrets. The, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the real secret in a minute. This is the reverse side of it. I wonder if this texture is solid. Yeah, this is solid. I'm also stuck. There we go. They use these on um, basically walls that you don't see. There's no reason for them to to texture these. This is basically an untextured mesh. That's that's where that thing comes from. Where are where's that little? Uh, oh, it's over here. This was this gonna be something? I think this may have been something because 
What do you guys think? Because this this doesn't look like something that Gearbox would leave just set up. There, well, there are a few weird things in this area that we'll get to. So there's that wall that doesn't open. Uh, back. This is the back side of the factory, obviously. This is where I just was. Alright, let's check out one of those, um, the coolant chambers. The coolant chambers. Where are those at? Uh, over here is one. Here's a coolant chamber. You destroy something over here and it helps you shut down the factory. This is basically just the outskirts of the factory. Yada yada yada. Okay. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of textures that are just that sort of stock texture situation. Where is this in comparison? Okay, so this is an empty room. Nothing of interest over here. Yeah, da, 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 da. Claptrap DLC. How'd you guys feel about the Claptrap DLC? Um, a lot of people felt like it was kind of forced on us. Or, ah, death wall! I like those apples, thank you. A lot of people felt like the Claptrap DLC was kind of forced, well not forced on us, but forced into being made. Um, we don't know if 2K ordered it to be made um, from Gearbox or if it was a Gearbox decision because a lot of people in the Borderlands community wanted to see a fourth DLC and we ended up getting Claptrap and it kind of felt sort of thrown together which um, most of the time isn't a very good thing. Let's go, uh, let's go over this way because it didn't really measure up to zombie DLC um, as far as adding new content um, and though Claptrap DLC sort of started the trend of reskinning enemies because pretty much everything in this DLC is a reskinned enemy. A uh, bandit camp over there. We're gonna go see if there's anything near these skag dens on the other side but I'm thinking I'm thinking that no. So let's get a nice aerial view of the whole map and then I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the final thing. And I want to thank everybody for hanging out while I looked over what is pretty much um, a thrown together area. I don't like how this city is thrown together. Like even from 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 space, even from space, it just looks it's unimpressive. This area compared to the rest of Borderlands One, which is actually really well constructed comparatively to Borderlands Two. The Claptrap DLC actually kind of looks like how a lot of areas in Borderlands 2 are put together. I hate to say it, I really hate to say it, but I feel like maybe this is where the laziness started on a lot of the areas. Though you guys don't really get to see it from most of Borderlands 2, it all looks good and fine, but when you look from above, it doesn't, it's not really just a coherent uh, experience. The level is just sort of plopped. A lot of plopping, a lot of just like Lego pieces. Though the, the Cromerax DLC is glorious, and I hope that's a sign of things to come. It's so well put together. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready for for the what the fuck moment? Are you? You, you with me? You with me? Everybody stay? Okay. What? Why? Why is this over here? Randy! Randy! Why is there... Okay, so the thing about this is there is one of every lootable in the area over here. There is... I, I call this... I call this the nether lootables. We have a nether locker. And we have a nether washing machine. And a nether garbage can slash dumpster. We have a nether trash pile. And a nether refrigerator. But most of all, we have the nether chest. And I am debating doing an episode of what's in the loot chest. Where I farm the nether chest and see if it has better drop rates than other chests. What do you guys think? How do you... This makes me want to go around every area in Borderlands and see if there's nether chests elsewhere. Do you guys think we're going to run into nether chests? Chests? I'm not sure. This is the first I've seen. The secret, super top secret nether chest that you can't get to unless you're no clipping and flying. Though maybe... I don't know if you could get up there and rocket jump to the nether, nether chest. I don't think so. I don't think so, but now I have to try. 
Well, first opening on the nether chest is pretty disappointing, but let me know in the comments below, do you guys think I should do a what's in the loot chest on the nether chest? I want to thank y'all for watching this episode of Out of Bounds. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Really? Why are you leaving nether chests? Why? I'll see you guys later.